interactions and the different degrees or different level right. that we find ourselves. Um, you know, there's this, apparently there's this popular, actually, so the funny thing is I just finished watching Money Heist, which, right. you know, everybody has hyped. I eventually finished it last night or was it this morning? And I then there was, finished. listen, what are you waiting for? Yo, no <laughs> time, a long man, no time. I'll watch it, I'll watch it. <laughs> okay. So, you know, there was this, and this was even mentioned in that series where they talked about a famous African proverb, which, which pretty much meant that um, if, you, if you confuse small with inefficiency, um, try sleeping with, uh, in a room full of mosquitoes or in a room full of one mosquito, and you will see the effect of what small actually means. And I feel like, you know, this, what, what this teaches me pretty much is the fact that you know, we go through life, you know, a lot of people um, or a lot of people I've encountered, including even, I'm sure myself at some point, felt like, you know, right after uni, you know, right after um, school, you know, the opportunity should be there for you. Yeah. No, yeah. usually it's never the case. You know, you need to go looking out for those opportunities, but we should not ignore or we should not ignore, we should actually acknowledge those little, little moments that we have in our lives yeah. Right. You know, the person we met today that, yeah. you know, we didn't take seriously. You want to wait right. till the next 10 years. You meet the person and next mission, you, know, you want to start now calling, you know, giving accolades. Right. And it's no, too late. You know, yeah. it's too late. And, and, you know, let me use the opportunity to even talk about, you know, your CEO, which is Kodo Sobo, you know. Right. I quite remember a couple of years ago when we decided to, um, you know, um, make a business out of this. We, we went, we set up in a in uh, one of the biggest hotels in Ghana called African Regions Hotel, okay. um, owned by my big, 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 big brother, Chico Fuo. And, um, you know, I was there for about two to three months initially. And when we first set up, I quite, I quite remember when I was asked, hey, um, hey, and, and it was supposed to be a pop-up. It started off as a pop-up. Right. You know, and, right. you know, by then a lot of different brands had come in, different, you know, um, you know, and during their launch of it, you see a lot of uh, good, good traffic of uh, people coming there, trying to, you know, right. figure out what's going on, you know, coming to show support, etc. And I quite remember when, I, when, when they asked me how many people were going to come, what I told them was that, wow, I don't know, maybe 300, 400, 500. <laughs> You're hopeful. And these guys were like, what are you talking about? Hey, we just hosted XYZ, no names mentioned, and they had just about 250 people coming. So... You are a fresh brand. What do you mean by that? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Me, I know that Charlie. Back in university, you know, I was a bit right. loud. You know, I had a, a strong uh, uh, friendship force. Had a had a had 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 a great time in University of Ghana. And so, um, you know, I knew that there were a lot of people who I knew and would try and reach out to them. And you know, in my few years of also doing marketing communication, I thought you know could also try and then get in people to come through. And you know, they were like, ah, well. We will see. That's what they said. Long story short, the event started at 7. I had a little setback. So I got there for about 7.45. Hugely embarrassed. You, you can imagine. Yeah. My first one of come, you know, uh, 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 meeting a chunk of people who came there and I was 45 minutes late. Uh, we had a huge setback. But again, it was all part of these lessons that has taught us to be who we are now. Right. But see what happened. When I got to African regions, I couldn't, get, I couldn't get somewhere to park. So they advised, oh, go to Villaggio. You know, Villaggio is right opposite. When I right. went, I couldn't get somewhere to park. So eventually, I had a cousin with me, left a car with him. And do you know where he got parking? Where? He, he, he got parking almost at um, FedEx. Oh, wow. Now, guys, if you don't know where FedEx is, this is like literally 400 meters away. Yeah. So I was like, ah, what is happening here? Yeah, listen, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing family coming through. I'm seeing family <laughs> coming through. Miss Nova, African prodigy, you know, y'all. You know, and this is the support yeah, I'm man. talking about. This is the support system I'm talking about, you know. So I eventually walked there, took the clothes there, and people were parked right from the entrance to the foyer. Cousin, yeah. To the... Oh, to man. <laughs> <laughs> <Be bonesy. laughs> you know, they were actually, I'm seeing more vibes, so vibe with me. <laughs> Focus, where are you? Anyways, so I saw people all the way there to the foyer of the hotel, and the whole place was choked. 
So the events uh, team came to me, told me that, no, these numbers they can't contain. Hey, let's go upstairs where they have a, a huge, like that's where they have a lot of their big events. Right. So we should come there. Bro, by the time I said Jack, we're looking more than 900 people. Wow. Before we left there that night, they, they already said more than 1,200 people. Wow. More than and I was so I was so humbled, bro. I was so humbled because, you know, yes, we had done a little bit of work. There's been work done. There's right. been, you know, there's been some, you know, work put in there. But frankly speaking, I didn't think we really, really, you know, um, yeah. deserved. If I'm to say that, that, yo, like all these numbers, and you know, I'm saying this to how we even got a chance to even meet Kojo. Um, you know, afterwards, word went round. There was so much conversation. Social media picked it up. We had right. a lot of bloggers coming through. Like, it was just, it was just, the support was just through the roof. So, the following day or two days afterwards, um, I was introduced by, um, yeah, so I met this young man who came into the hotel, uh, was go going to a pro uh, from the events team to the reception, and the shop was right in between. And, who, who introduced us? But he, you know, we met in the corridor. We had a conversation. He was like, oh, yeah. Get of chocolate. I invited him in. He came to have a look at some of the stuff we got. Like, it was just, you know, it was pretty much almost like we had known ourselves from ages. Right. You know, we spent almost, almost about an hour together. Took my business card and he was like, you know what, Charlie? Let's talk. Long story short. Long story short. Sure. This guy... <laughs> eventually um, put in word to one of my biggest sisters in the uh, industry called Claudia Lumo, Mrs. Yeah. Claudia Lumo, who actually runs the biggest, uh, if I'm to say, the biggest um, fashion uh, event, fashion week events in Ghana called uh, Ghana, Blitz. Yeah. You know, and, you know, he put in word, pushed, made sure that, yo, you need to, you need to make sure this guy comes to showcase at Blitz, you know,